Hi everybody, this is Pam with Jesus Junk Journals and we are getting ready to start on June. And uh, before we do, I'm gonna come back here and show you that I took that uh, space thing out that was holding this so it could glue. And so here's yesterday's and so this looks like it glued and held pretty well. And so this can just wrap around this milk bottle stopper and I'm gonna cut it off. And probably needs about that much. So that was that one. Put a clip here. So that was finished. So here we have June. Okay, so here's June. And I really like this. I think it's really pretty. So I was trying to think of a way to put a place for prayers and not glue pockets over the top of this. And so what I'm gonna do is, here's June, a little bunch of stuff. And this is what goes here. And so what I'm gonna do is make a, make an, like an accordion fold out of pages to write on. So I'm not sure exactly how it's gonna work. So what I'm, what I'm, what I'm gonna do, well, I'm gonna get some cardstock. Hang on just a second. Let me get a piece of cardstock and figure out. Like if I have, I would like to have three. I wonder if I can get, might be able to get. Nope. Okay, looks like two's the most I'll get out of this. So I'm gonna fold it in half. Actually, I think two might be enough, so I'm just gonna go two. I'm not gonna overdo this. I think two, because what I'm thinking, well, let me cut this out. I'm gonna draw this out so it's the same size. And I think I'll use a, where's my ruler? Use my ruler and uh, Zacto knife. Cut this. This could go, okay, so I need to decorate the back of this and then this will glue on top of that and then this fold out is gonna, I'm gonna use washi tape and tape this as a, as a, as a fold out and write my prayers for June on here. So when it folds out, you'll have room to categorize your prayers, however you like to do that. Might be people, you know, places, might be, uh, days of the week, things like that. However you wanna do it, that'll give you two, two sheets to write on. And then you can, at the end of the month, you can still do your uh, progress report. So I need to figure out what I wanna do. I could just leave this plain white, but that wouldn't be fun, would it? <laughs> Let me try just let me do the distress ink on the edges. I just think it's gonna to be too white for my taste, but I can always stencil lightly. But I don't wanna to put too much on it because it, I don't want it to be distracting, so. Maybe if I just do a little bit on the edges, it'll be enough to I think that might be just fine. Just gonna kind of rub it, just to try to be really light. Usually when I do that, I get a big streak, but. Just to add a little bit of character to it. Oh, 
Okay, I'm going to stop that. And I'll go ahead and move this out of the way. I'm gonna go ahead and join it to this with a strip of washi tape. Let me see what I have. That looks nice. Let's see. I kind of want it to be small. I don't want it to go too far over. So if I do it on both sides with this thinner tape, I think that will work. Ah! I love this Barely Art glue, but I have to say I'll be glad when, <laughs> when I'm done with this bottle because I've been fighting this top for a while. Coming in loose. All right, so let's see if I can get this thing lined up the way I want it. Hmm. Sort of. And then I'll do the other side too, just make sure it's good and strong. All right, and then, so then I'll just trim this off and fold it. And that's ready to go over that. I think I'm gonna do a combination on this. I think I'm gonna do a combination of um, stenciling with Distress Ink and then maybe some napkin over it. So I'm gonna set this back, see what I have. I think I have some pretty flowers napkins, so I'm gonna, uh, let's see, I'm gonna use the, I'm gonna try the Abandoned Coral, which is almost the same as the Lauren Lipstick. And um, I don't have anything in between. I kind of want to do aged mahogany. It's kind of scary. <laughs> Let's see. I'm looking for tones in here, these oranges and these kind of deep, um, almost purpley reds. I'm just going to do, I've got this little flower stencil. Maybe I'll, let me just try this abandoned coral. I always think the Distress Ink kind of looks um, a little better if you've got two different colors, but I'm gonna use the, I'll be using the photo on the edge. So maybe that'll be my second color. Vintage photo. Okay, so. Letting it fade. Whoop. That didn't go well. Let me see. Have to remember the only thing that's going to show is the very edge of this. So I kind of want to do a little bit of orange. I'm I hate that. I'm I'm scared of that carved pumpkin. Um maybe the I'm gonna try that honey, wild honey which if I remember right, it was kind of intense. So we'll see if that messes things up. <laughs> uh, so let's lay this back over it and just see if I go back over parts of it, what happens? It should just kind of make it orange. Yeah, okay, cool. All right. And some of it I want, of course, to stay pink, so I need to not do a whole lot. Okay, cool. Well, that looks pretty. 
pretty good. All right, so now let me grab some napkins and do a little bit of decoupage on top of that. Okay, let me look at my folder here of napkin scraps and see there's a particular napkin I'm thinking of that I've got that's got orange flowers on it that would look good. If I can find it, there it is. Okay. Okay, so I need to wash out my stencil. <laughs> Boy, everything just starts getting real close, doesn't it, when you start doing different things. Okay, and I know not much of this will show, but I'm going to get this one. And that's probably, that's probably all that will show. Oh, where did it go? Okay. So again, my Mod Podge, which is my homemade Mod, Mod Podge, is two parts white glue and one part water and my brush. And I really have to be careful because this distress ink is activated by water. And so if I get it too wet, it's gonna smear all over the place. And I'm not too sure it won't do it anyway, but we'll see, even if I'm careful. <laughs> but I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try not and not smear it around too much. Just. Since this is a napkin, it'll absorb through it better than a piece of tissue paper would. Where did that black come from? I guess that's part of the napkin. Huh. Okay. And since I've done kind of all the corners, I might as well do that last corner too, because I think it might look funny if I don't. that's enough glue to glue it down. Okay, so that needs to dry. So where's my sheet of plastic? There it is. I can move on to the outreach page, which then has this. I think what I'm gonna do is use a washi tape and just go around the edge with a washi tape that I have. And I was looking through, and this one has kind of got the pinks and the oranges. So I think it's wide enough. Hopefully, if I go all the way around with it, it'll uh, give me enough of a design edge to, to cover up the white, is what I'm trying to say. So I'll just do two at a time here. And... Not sure about the corners, how I want to do that, but I'm just going to go ahead. I might just 
tear that up like a bag. Ooh, diagonal. That just came right off. I think I'll just let it overlap and not worry too much about it. Try to get it right there on the edge. This washi tape, you know, we buy so much of it and it does kind of age like it's <laughs> the glue on it kind of starts to gum up or I don't know. It doesn't seem like it stays very good for very long on some of them, but maybe that's just me, but... Either always like that, but and it's maybe it's not an aging thing, maybe it's just a washi tape thing. But it seems like some of them you get to where you tear it and it comes, it doesn't want to come off the roll. Okay, I think that's what I had in mind. Pretty simple, really. And then, yeah, oh, that's cool, I like it so. I'm not sure if it'll stick down on top of that washi tape, so I'll put glue there, but I'm gonna make sure I get plenty of glue here in the middle so it sticks that way. Okay. So that is June, sorta, kinda, till it dries. And so now we've got the praise pocket Forgot about that for June. So let me grab, put one on that side. I'm curious, I did half one way and half the other direction on the pockets, but I haven't really been paying attention to how I put them. So oh, this is a new signature. <laughs> Okay, so I guess it doesn't matter. You can put them on whichever side you want them on. So, let's see. What do I want to put in the background of this? Um, I really like that last one I did. I don't want to do it again, but it sure did. I thought that looked cool where I just barely stamped it with that writing. I think um, I'm going to take... The photo, vintage photo, and just sort of do what I did on the prayer page and just kind of darken it just a little bit on the edge where it'll show. Oh, wait, this will show more. This is the, uh oh, this is the page with the. Praise pocket. Okay, well, hmm, all right. Try not to get too much on it when I... Okay, and let's see, what do I have in stencils? Well, I think I'm gonna use this kind of crazy one and just do a tone on tone. Out of this out of the vintage photo behind this and just keep it subtle hopefully <laughs> just try yeah. yeah I'll just leave it Leave it like that. Yeah. Okay, not everything has to be wild and crazy, does it? I need to tell myself, <laughs> no, it does not. <laughs> and I'm gonna put a washi tape edge on this pocket just for fun. I can find one I like. Put this skinny little washi tape on.
Okay. Just glue it down. Okay, so there's June. This is almost dry back here. So I'm gonna go ahead and glue, if I can find it, <laughs> glue my, oh, it's right here. <laughs> and I wonder if I wanna put a little tab on that to grab it easier. I do think I want to do that. So I'm going to use, I think some of this peach, just a loop of this peach lace maybe. See how that, see how that looks. Yeah. So I can use, let's see, Fabri-Tac. I think I'm going to trim it off just a little bit more. It doesn't really need to stick out that much. And I wonder if I, I wonder if I just put a piece of washi tape over that, if that will help keep it covered up and glued down and reinforced. How about that? Okay. All right, so then it'll look like that, and you can just grab that and unfold it. All right. Okay, so then all I gotta do is glue this in here, and we're done. Hmm, that's gonna push it. Oh, well, I guess that's not that big of a deal to just tuck that in with your, your hand when it shuts. I could put a paper clip on it. And I think I will. And I'll, that'll give me an excuse. <laughs> that gives me an excuse to uh, make a cute little paper clip with some netting on it. Some, uh, let's see. I've got green. Pink. I'm gonna go get some orange. They had a roll of netting at Walmart for a dollar and they had this pretty intense orange color, but when you take it apart, it's not so bad. And uh, where'd that pink go? I might put pink with it. Let's see. I don't wanna get too carried away. Got a piece of pink and a piece of orange. Let's see if this is long enough. Yeah. Okay, so put the loop through the top of this gold. Pink and orange is one of my favorite color combinations. There. Okay. Hmm. All right. I'll, I'm going to let it stick up like that. I think it's okay. If it's not, I can always trim it down later. Let me trim this down, though. Okay. All right. For now, I think that's it. I guess probably should ink it. Okay, so June prayers, prayer results, your outreach, financial giving, activities, praise pocket. All right, so there's June. All right, that was a quick one. Okay, I hope you liked that. I hope you um, enjoyed watching the video. If you did, click like. Think about subscribing. And tomorrow we will 
uh, due to Ju July. So thanks for watching. Bye-bye.